Can we do colourful glass with no time? Well, yes we can. In this video I will show you how to make this colourful glass shader, and it's only two or three nodes, so buckle up and let's start. You can find that this video has chapters, so you can jump to where the shading part starts, or you can follow with us because we need something to add the glass material to. So what I will do is I will position the camera to the front view by hitting the shortcut control alt and number bad zero, then move it around with the G key. We also need an object with multiple faces, so the monkey head can show the glass material for us. However, let us add a donut, move it to mid-frame, then we will deform it using modifiers, mainly the simple deform. So add it to the torus object, and let's play with the twist angle. We can do a 3, 60 on the x-axis as a start. Then if we hit Shift D on the modifier, we can duplicate it, and let's do a 7. 20 on the z-axis for the second twist. I can also hit Ctrl and 4 as a shortcut for the subdivision surface modifier to smooth the shape. 4 is in the viewport level. I will also add another simple deform on this object, but this time as a stretch on the z-axis and play with the factor to make it fit. Now before the shading, we just need some lights in the scene, so switch to Cycle's Render Engine, and copy the viewport settings off the screen if you want. I will start by making the world lighting on black colour, then hit Shift A to add an area light, and move it up over the shape. Once you're done, split the working area to open a shading editor, and while the shape is selected, hit New Material. By default, you will get the principled BSDF, and you can work with it if you put the transmission on one and crack the specular value up with zero roughness, but a more suitable node is the BSDF glass, so let's use it. Add a glass node and connect it to the surface. The glass is quite dark, so it seems that we need some extra lights on the sides. Copy the top area lamp and place a copy on both left and right, and try to direct it toward the shape. We can also increase the size value in the settings, or scale up the light objects to lit as much curves on the glass as possible. Back to the glass node. To get some colours, we need the colour ramp. So hit Shift A to open the Add menu, go to Converters and look for the colour ramp node. Connect the ramp colour to the glass colour slot. With the ramp node, we can add more than one colour to the glass, but it's kind of mixing them together in the process. So to get what we want, we need the gradient texture. Look it up in the Add menu search bar and connect it to the Ramp Factor. Here we have it. We can now change the color ramps type from Linear to B-Spline or Ease and play with Gradient Type to get different results. As for the colors, it's all up to you. You can hit the plus icon on the ramp to add as much colors as you want to make your fantasy glass. One thing to mention is that the subdivision level 4 is for the viewport, so either apply the modifier before the final render, or match the subdivision render level to the same value. You can also go back and play with the twist and stretch values on this object to get different shapes, and even use the eye shortcut to keyframe any of those values that can give you some nice animations. And that's it. Like and share if you care, and see you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.